Well, we're talking to Isabel Oakeshott uh, right now. Let's talk a little bit about this uh, wokest university, the latest one on the list, Isabel. Uh, this is from the University of the Arts in London, where they tell staff that maternity applies to all genders, apparently. Uh, I presume this means that if you're a man uh, whose partner has decided to have a child, you can also get maternity leave. Well, yeah, it's otherwise known as paternity leave because that's <laughs> what dads have. I mean, look, only women can have children. Yeah. So let's not dick around here. I mean, this stuff is completely ridiculous. Yeah. And we can all push back against it and treat it with the utter derision that it deserves. I mean, it, it's everywhere, isn't it, Mike? I yeah. used to, a few years ago, I used to be saying this is such a marginal issue. You know, all the trans stuff hardly affects anyone. It's unbelievable the way it's accelerated. Mm. So it's become so pervasive in our culture uh, to the point you've got corporate, big corporations who seem to think that it's incumbent on them to use trans models to try to sell things that are clearly for women. Um, you know, the Nike advert for sports bras, as exhibited by uh, this Mulvaney yeah. uh, person, you know, I, I, to, to me as a woman, I, I just find that kind of insulting. Yes. <laughs> Well, it was a sort of pathetic advert in general. I think the funniest part of all of that story is that we believe now that Dylan Mulvaney may just be kind of on a money-making um, escapade, pretending to be the individual that you see in that advert, yeah. so that he yeah. can make a load of money out of it. And if well, so... very clever. Very yeah. clever then. But unfortunately, it is quite corrosive on our culture. It really is. And I always used to have arguments with people who would say, well, why are you so bothered about it? Why does it matter what somebody wants to be called? Why does it matter if somebody wants to be called they? Or, Well, this is the reason, because it then becomes part of what is called normalised language and normalised society. And so you're not allowed to say certain things because they're accurate. And I also think it matters because, uh, and first and foremost, because of our children. Mm. You know, I've children aged 10 and 12, as well as a, an older teenager, and they're kind of bewildered about all of this. I mean, in a sense, they're not that bothered about it mm. at this stage because they're very confident that they're girls. You know, the girls are girls and my son is a boy um, and doesn't have any doubts about that. Yeah. But they're hearing a lot of this, they, them, you know, maybe I'm one thing, maybe I'm another around them. Mm. And they just find it quite confusing. And I think the idea that choosing your gender is some kind of lifestyle choice is a is a dangerous one you yes. know going down this route um whether it's first of all it starts off just by changing your so-called pronouns mm. and then maybe it's maybe i'll take some puberty blockers or whatever these are not minor decisions changing your pronouns is of course reversible uh, but taking very very powerful drugs has an effect mm. that is pretty difficult to unravel yes uh, and of course the next stage is surgery this is really, really serious stuff. People's lives are devastated by it after they go down this pathway and then realise it was mm. all a, te a terrible mistake. Yes, and I know you've done a lot of work into this as well. Uh, we're just seeing, yeah. by the way, Vladimir Zelensky's addressing The Hague at the moment after those uh, strikes in Ukraine, which were supposed to be in the retaliation for uh, the drone uh, attack or the attempted drone attack in Moscow. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's talk about drugs this morning as well, though, because Telegraph uh, front page this morning, best ever Alzheimer's drug can halt disease. I was staggered to read some of the figures in this today uh, in which it says that Alzheimer's is now the main cause of death uh, for elderly people in this country and also the fact that the condition costs the country 34.7 billion annually. Yeah, I'm not actually surprised by that. And also with an ageing population, when you look at the projected cost of this to the NHS mm. and more broadly, they are staggering. Um, this is a really exciting um, clinical breakthrough, a new drug which uh, appears to slow the progression of Alzheimer's by up to a third. Uh, now, there are some concerns around side effects, quite serious um, issues came up during the trials. Uh, but it is probably, I think, the first drug that works in the way it does, rather than just dealing with the symptoms of Alzheimer's, uh, that actually slows down the pace at mm. which people are losing um, their cognitive abilities. So it's really, really exciting. It matters for all of us, this, uh, because 
so many of us will either develop Alzheimer's mm. or certainly know people or be, um, you know, have loved ones uh, that unfortunately develop Alzheimer's in older age. And also testing is getting a lot better uh, in terms of the, our ability to, to detect very, very far in advance whether people are likely uh, to develop the condition. So it's just kind of something positive mm. amidst all the negativity yes. that... Absolutely right. And just a quick a quick word, haven't got a lot of time on the COVID inquiry. Um, we spoke a bit about this last week and you were worried, and you still are, that it's descending into this kind of therapy group en masse. I really am, um, but it will be interesting to see uh, in around a month now we have the first public evidence session. It's taken uh, the best part of two and, two and a bit years to actually get to the stage where the judge is able to take any evidence from witnesses uh, and I look forward to that being something uh, that's actually illuminating rather than an operation to make f people feel better about what's happened. Yeah, absolutely right. Great to talk to you, Isabel. Thank you very much. We can see Isabel on Plank of the Week this week as well, of course. We'll give you details of that coming up a little bit later on.